Roger that. We got a flying Tic Tac. Thousands and thousands of products. Uh, U.S. made like our common products like socks. And then we have <laughs> Mike Lindell, War like Room. Brusher that Ugh. cleans inside bottles. He is the grift that keeps on grifting. He really peaked at walking into the White House with martial law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what now? Well, if it isn't my legion from another region. Uh, Spaces Frank, what do you want? I'm here by order of Bob Zap Goldsorb. He thought I could bail you guys out. You monitor transmissions out of Luxembourg. It's the cushiest assignment. Hey now, I'll have you know the Luxembourgian five-hour cable news cycle is virtually non-stop from dinner time to right before lights out. It's all good. I feel like you'll spread out the crazy. Let's just get this over with. Speaker Mike Johnson thought he had the vote. That is, until Democrat Al Al Green, recovering from surgery, made a surprise appearance on the House floor to give Democrats the votes they needed to kill the impeachment push. Just for that, no hallmark. Get well card for you, Green. (laughs) Seeing Mike Johnson standing at the place where, like, Nancy Pelosi would be and everything. It's like, this guy doesn't even want to be here at this point. It's so pathetic. The resolution is not adopted. (laughs) Stop it. Stop the cheering. The power of Christ compels you. (laughs) This is a failure on leadership's part. There hasn't been a failure yet. We're going to bring it back. The Confederacy didn't lose the war. They just lost so far. (laughs) Sadly, a real sentiment. Her total fashion choice is based on the little girl from Schindler's List. (laughs) I feel like Marjorie Taylor Greene would watch every Holocaust movie and be like, I get it. Okay. (laughs) He watches them backwards so that they have happy endings. Yeah. (laughs) Well, we can basically look like, look at this as a game. It's a game we don't know how to play. And they hid one of their members uh, waiting to the last minute, trying to throw us off on the numbers that we had. It really threw us off that they got more votes than us. (laughs) Unfortunately, that requires counting. (laughs) She makes it seem like they were keeping him on life support just to cast this vote. They hid Al Green in like a giant cake that said happy impeachment. (laughs) They wheeled him out. He burst out of it. I hope when he goes back to the hospital, no jello for him tonight. (laughs) If this was like a dirty trick, that's a way better way to get what you want than like storming the capital and you guys are not strangers to breaking the rules you need to get what you want. Last night was a setback, but democracy is messy. That's why I'm more of a theocracy man (laughs) myself. Sometimes uh, when you're counting votes and people show up when they're not expected to be in the building, it changes the equation. I have a personal relationship with God and I (laughs) pray to him for that guy to not survive his surgery. (laughs) I guess God is going woke now. (laughs) Well, while the House failed to impeach Mayorkas, the Senate GOP managed to tank their own bill. I think we're all trying to, to figure out this bill. Have you read all 370 pages of this bill? We are we are working through it. No, but I've seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like right now it may be in some jeopardy. It may be on life support in the Senate. We wanted uh, Al Green to be on life develop. support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Mike Johnson is f- up. He was the 78th person they picked yeah, to exactly. be speaker. <laughs> he was not a first round draft pick. So the GOP conference, they actually got together behind closed doors. I could actually hear yelling and screaming inside. Wow. That was just the background noise from Satan's Zoom call. <laughs> For a minute, I thought there was a Taylor Swift concert going on. They were going nuts. They're saying the quiet part loud, really loud. <laughs> Leader Mitch McConnell, though, when he came out of that meeting, he told me that they had a great discussion. He was frozen again for most of it. I was going to say after a 30 second reboot, Mitch McConnell (laughs) said that. Honey, mommy and daddy were just having a discussion. It's almost as if Mitch McConnell lied. Yeah. (laughs) Senator James Langford, the lead GOP negotiator on this, told me that his colleagues want a shot at some amendments. That is a severe face. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's kind of if Opie and character actor Carol Striken had a baby. (laughs) It is really challenging to look simultaneously 12 and 70 at the same (laughs) When you're gifted with a face like that, you have no choice but to be a Republican politician. (laughs) Yes, exactly. He has the cheekbones for the job. Popular commentator that told me flat out, I will do whatever I can to destroy you. I've never seen a politician do a blind item like that. (laughs) A certain pugnacious pundit threatened the career of this august body. Well, Republicans got what they always wanted. Zero dollars for the border and a talking point for the upcoming election. When they say the border is secured, it's just a joke. Very appropriate he's wearing a brown shirt (laughs) i was actually reading revelation last night oh yeah right you were watching (laughs) real housewives i was sitting on the toilet reading (laughs) revelations let's just say there was a lake of fire in that bathroom (laughs) and i've compared biden and harris and may orcas and 
and John Pierre to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. In Kareem terms of Jean Pierre? Four. What the f? Uh, did, did you guys have that on your bingo card? <laughs> He's not the only one making revelations. I believe we're going to have a terrorist attack 100%. That's 100%. being positive. <laughs> He's being upbeat for the Republicans. Don't get discouraged. It's going to be a terrorist attack. Christmas is coming, kids. Thousands are going to be killed. Just hang in there. The way that he says 100%, you can't use 100% in this context. You're predicting something. People don't know this, but when he touched that orb, his third eye opened. And so he's, he's just <laughs> imbued with psychic power. Yes. You made a comment recently that you'd be a dictator for day one. What specifically did you mean by that? Well, I think you know. Uh, it was with Sean Hannity, and we were having fun. And <laughs> Fun. Having fun with Sean Hannity, that's that's a concept I can't quite grasp. Just goofing, you know? What I'm saying is that we're going to immediately drill, baby drill. And while I was joking around, I do mean a literal baby. We're going to have babies <laughs> drilling for oil. Dictator, and I wanted you to explain what it meant. In other words, does it mean executive orders? Oh man, they try to put words in his mouth so much. Time. You mean executive orders, right? Oh, uh, right? Okay. You just meant you'd be, you'd talk tough on China, right? 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 That's what you meant. Funny thing, once you're a dictator, you can kind of just keep being a dictator. That's the thing. Who's the last dictator to be like, I think we should have a democracy. <laughs> Day two, I'm abdicating. <laughs> Get some opposing voices in here. It's too easy. <laughs> okay, then Fox Business's Maria Bartiromo shapeshifted into Newsmax's Rob Schmidt and continued the interview. What happens if he gets back in for four more years? I think the country's finished. Look at even things like supply chains, things we never even heard about. Because you just you coined the term, is why we've never heard it. Might be a self-help book in the future. Your supply has to want to change in order <laughs> yeah. to grow. Everything was going great. And then we had this catastrophe of an election. I literally thought he was going to say COVID then. I mean, that's how naive I am. I did nothing wrong. Biden, he had 10 times the number of boxes. He had them under his crazy Corvette. <laughs> Is that a Disney movie I'm not aware of? Crazy Corvette that talks and flies and, and has boxes under it? Starring uh, Don Knotts, yeah. It's the crazy Corvette. Everyone knows you keep boxes in your bathroom, okay? They can't believe this guy falls out of airplanes. Falls out of airplanes. He's skydiving. Joe Biden is simultaneously the slowest moving shuffling president and a secret agent who is capable of enormous feats. Biden, mission impossible. He's mistaking Biden with uh, Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. <laughs> and then Joe Biden grabs the heart from the middle of the guy's chest and rips it out. And I love the racism in that movie. <laughs> that one holds up, I'd say. Actually falls up the stairs. <laughs> He defies gravity. How do you fall up the stairs? He fell up the stairs. This guy doesn't Three respect times. the laws of physics. He's going on all these shows. Why defend yourself when you can have all your congressional buddies do it for you? We are here today to authoritatively express that <laughs> President Trump did not commit an insurrection. It's so authoritative. Uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> they meant authoritarian. <laughs> and we believe Congress has a unique role in making that declaration. I'd also like it's to declare that 17-year-olds are adults. <laughs> While we're at it. The rights of voters. Well, it's impressive. If they got Dwight Eisenhower to come back from the dead. <laughs> yeah. Every time I see a House members rolled out like this, I'm like, who's that guy? Look at this guy, molded out of clay and brought to life. Yeah. <laughs> New freaks dropping is the most exciting yeah. game. These are some of the creepy weirdos you might not know about. Yeah. Let's get to know them. These are the rare cards. <laughs> it's like when you get a Magic the Gathering expansion pack and there's like that one shiny card oh, in yeah. there. Yes, okay. I'm with you. I'm okay, with you got that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, a Wyvern, all right. <laughs> I haven't seen this one. And then when Joe Biden was inaugurated and this entire Capitol was surrounded with 30,000 National Guard troops, none of you stood there and called that an insurrection. Because oh, it no. wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason they were there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a three-judge panel this week denied Trump immunity from prosecution. But that really just ticked Stephen Miller off. A president is definitionally, constitutionally immune. I'm Stephen Miller. Of course all my books are white. <laughs> I don't want to know how Steve Miller made those lampshades. That's all I'm saying. He went to the Ed Gein School of Design. The Sean Spicer Show. Straight from Dancing with the Stars to Dancing with Steve Miller. <laughs> Sean Spicer has discovered new stone materials beneath rock bottom. He went from White House Press Secretary to Dancing with the Stars to New 
Newsmax, and then they kicked him off Newsmax, and now he's on wow. whatever this is. Well, what if I find a judge and I find a prosecutor who says he opened the border to help him win re-election? Mayorkas goes to jail. Everyone in your administration goes to jail. <laughs> I love watching Sean Spicer mull things over as Stephen Miller is ratcheting things up. Is he going to reach through the internet and strangle me? And your immunity is a worthless piece. So, of- so why don't we look? Here's my question, and I, I like I, I feel like I love this conversation, but I but, but this is so good. <laughs> I, I love it when you yell at me, Stephen Miller. It's so good. May I have another? I feel like I love this conversation. <laughs> Republican men expressing love is such a limited spectrum. This is as far as it goes. Sean Spicer with the flex. I'm not behind bars. I'm in front. <laughs> this is a crazy person's crazy person podcast. Yeah. <laughs> How deep in the right wing cave do you have to go to find this show? I think we might be the only ones watching. I know. <laughs> Like, guys, 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 we got a view. This is what they call engagement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about a little palate cleanser? Since the day the war in Ukraine began, American media outlets have spoken to scores of people from Ukraine. Not a single Western journalist has bothered to interview the president of the other country involved in this conflict. Well, they're in jail, the ones that try. You know, guys, Hitler was just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, when he invaded Poland, nobody stopped to ask, how are you? Tucker Carlson внезапно оказался Somehow. This man's larynx is pickled in vodka. He ruined it when he yelled out, I am Spartacus. Land trans. Transport. In Russia, we have very high quality <laughs> land transport. In America, there's never a land transport when you need one. It is USB port. As soon as America gets USB ports, it's over. Wi-Fi, <laughs> internet. Oh, I've never had free Wi-Fi at a coffee shop before. The incredible freedoms that they have over there. It's amazing. Once you've had a taste of that kind of democracy, you never go back. We're impressed by Tucker. Screw that Tolstoy guy. <laughs> now will you release my family now that I've said this? I'm delighted, okay. Well, if it couldn't get any worse, Hannity aired his special bloopers and practical hate crimes. Me, Curtis Lee. Is this clip from 1983? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you divide 53 million... Disperse! Our guys have just taken down... One of the migrant guys right here on I was the able to vet that immediately. <laughs> it's called racial profiling. Have you heard of it? They've taken over. They've, they've taken, taken over. over. Ten people are beating him up, but they've taken over. Even by Fox News standards, this is incredibly racist. You know, the hats are a little less pointy. They're a little floppy. We're going red instead of white. Earlier in the show, members of the Guardian Angels apprehended a man. Curtis, we couldn't exactly see what was going on. What, oh, what we was could see what was going yeah. on. Yeah. I feel like we saw exactly what was happening. We gave him a little pain compliance. His mother back in Venezuela felt the vibrations. Curtis Lewa is a disgrace to cat people. <laughs> I mean that sincerely. I love cat people, except for him. He has like 18 cats, which normally I would think is great. He's so awful, I'm actually glad Eric Adams beat him. <laughs> yeah. I know, a responsible police force would arrest this man <laughs> who just <laughs> orchestrated a beating. And we have everyone's face on camera, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they did the work for us. Everyone and look straight into the camera, please. Have you seen this man? And it's just a screenshot of Hannity. Like, yeah, all these people are guilty. <laughs> that same January 6th criminal savvy that they show. <laughs> Don't you know if you have cool jackets, it's not a crime? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? It was nice to visit with you, but looking at these clips, I can't really take it anymore. So <laughs> you guys are good. Fair enough. I've done my little supervising here. I am going as far away into outer space as I can get from <laughs> these media clips. I am Super Joe. We have to win in November or we're not going to have Pennsylvania. They'll change the name. They're going to change the name of Pennsylvania. Hiya. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon, where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye.